All right, Robin, let's talk about from a coach's perspective, someone wanting to build an online coaching business. One of the biggest things, look, we have an, uh, we have call, we call it the Academy, the business Academy, the awaken winning business Academy, and it helps coaches become coaches online. And one of the, this is something me and Robin hear all the time when people first sign up is they're all so concerned and understandably. So we were right there with you. Everyone is so concerned about their website. I need a website. Okay, what do we do about a website? Where's the training on the website? Like, oh, I, or the big one that we get is people come in and it just, <laughs> it's so painful. They tell us how much time and energy and money they have spent into investing into building a website. And my friends, we're here to, to really drop the cold, hard truth and be very controversial here in saying, now look, we're gonna unpack the little bit of nuance that there is here because we're not gonna write off and, and say websites are, are horrible. Like at the end of the day, I have a website for Awaken Winning. Uh, Robin, do you have an, a website yet for JB? I have JBA? a landing page. Okay, so you don't have a website. And let's just no. distinguish that. You, and that's what people are gonna freak out. This is a very yeah. controversial <laughs> thing. People for some reason, like trigger warning here, my friends. Big trigger warnings. Yeah, like, People are just so attached to the idea of a website. But here's the thing. There's a difference between a landing page and a website. We're going to talk about the differences. And do not think that when we say you don't need a website that we're talking about landing pages. We're talking about a website. Now, the difference between a website and a landing page, we should acknowledge, is a website is basically like your storefront. Even if you're not a product company, it's just like it's literally just like you go to it and it's got home and about you and like, you know, contact my blog, and all, my blog <laughs> and all this stuff or whatever. That's your website, right? A landing page, the biggest and, and let's just talk about a website. What it's optimized for is for information about you, right? Like just to get to know you and your product and whatever. And that might sound great. You might say, well, yeah, of course you need that. But there's one big problem there. And we're going to get to why a website isn't the best way to do that. But you want to know what a landing page is optimized for? Conversion, right? It's optimized to convert prospects or leads into clients, right? So that's the difference between a website and a landing page. My friends, do not invest a lot of money, time, and energy into building out your website. Robin, I'll let you go. Why don't you give your two cents and then I'll go after about why coaches don't need a website. Yeah, so this is such a good one. And I actually remember I did not even have a landing page for the first six months of my business. And it's not required to get sales. It's not required to get clients. It's not required to charge high tickets. And so I didn't have anything for the first six or even eight months of my business. And um, the one thing when it comes to like the landing page versus a website, the website has multiple call to actions. Like there's so many things you can do. Your landing page has one call to action, which should be to be actually getting them on a call with you essentially. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the website, I actually, I think one of the reasons people are so attached to the website is they're like, okay, well, if I'm going to start a coaching business, my old boss is going to know about this and my friends and family. So if I make this look legit, then they'll like start backing me and they won't think I'm like off my rocker doing this. And so I'm going to make this look like some big formal corporation. I'm going to do like the photo shoots and, and build this website or pay somebody $5,000 to build my website. And like, then when people go to my website, they're going to see how nice it looks and they're going to want to work with me. And I hate to break it to you, but nobody even wants to go to your website when you're getting started. It's like a real challenge for someone who's never had a business in their life before. And I see this like with my other clients as well. They think just having a pretty website is the, th the key to getting clients. Nobody cares about your website. Nobody cares about your business cards, all that stuff. Um, and it just makes you feel good. And it also distracts you from actually doing the really vulnerable, but key revenue driving tasks in your business. So you feel like, oh, well, I'm really productive because I've spent the last 40 days working on my website and I spent $5,000 and I'm so invested in my business but you're not doing the real work that is gonna actually get you clients and that's so vulnerable. Yeah, and like, look, if you're still not on the same page yet, it's fine, but you know, I think one of the things to also acknowledge, I mean, everything you said is bang on, Robin, but 
you know, I've invested in numerous coaches, never went to one to their website. I don't care about their website. Like truly I don't. Um, and we also like, it was a long time before we had a landing page. Uh, now we do now recommend that coaches just build a landing page more in the infancy of their businesses. But me and Robin have proven that you actually don't even need anything. You don't need a landing page. You don't need a website to start to sell a high ticket program. Now you might be wondering why, but it's like, well, Kayla, but how do they, how are they going to get information on you? How are they going to trust you? How are, your social media you want to know what basically made websites obsolete or nowhere near i shouldn't say obsolete because they're not yeah but nowhere near as effective anymore is because it is is the the starting and the growing of social media and the popularity of social media like look like when i look at all the coaches that i've signed up with what drew me in either their social media channel or their podcast. So look at the initiatives of a website. The goal of a website is to like, you know, we've talked about give you information about the product or service or person that you're investing in. And then you, like you said, there's multiple call to actions there. It's like, so why would I go to a website when I can literally go through this guy's Instagram page or this gal's Instagram page with all these different videos of different information of like their product, their service, who they are. Like if you want to learn about someone, social media is way superior in that regard. Their podcast is way superior in that regard. And you want to know what is the best resource to actually get people to understand what it is that you sell and not have too many options because we know from the paradox of choice, we know that the more options someone has, therefore the more CTAs and what that is is call to actions. The more you're asking a client to do, or I should say a lead to do, the less likely they are to take action. Okay, so what a landing page does is a landing page is so effective because all it is is it's one video essentially, or we recommend a video, it sometimes excludes a video, but it's just information that is so curated towards, here's what you're gonna get, here's who I'm talking to, here's the problem I'm solving, and here's why you should um, be interested in the method or the system that I have to solve this problem for you. Click on the link below and let's get on a call, mm -hmm. right? But that's how it works in high ticket coaching. And that's what the uh, landing page is optimized for is that conversion. There is a difference between a landing page, which is one page optimized for essentially one CTA and uh, optimized for conversion as opposed to a website, which people aren't going to even go to nowadays. And if they want to learn more about you, that's why we do the podcast and social media, which is way more effective. I don't know that we really need to say much more on this. If you're still not convinced Test it out. I don't out. know what to say to you. Yeah, <laughs> test it out. I mean, look, uh, again, it's it's one of those things that we have seen value at this point. We have invested more into making a, a better website because when you do get to a point where you now have some resources uh, and you've made some money that you can now invest back in your business and you've taken care of all the other priorities, you know, we're kind of at a point where we're looking for all the things that we can invest in. And, you know, having a nicer website was one thing that we deemed to, at first we just built it out on Wix and it was like super basic. Then we actually decided to, and we still haven't hired like a designer or developer to do it. We literally just built it ourselves, but it's, it's an upgrade for sure. And it looks okay, but no one, it, look, the deal breaker of whether someone signs up with you or doesn't is not going to be the website. So just do not put too much bandwidth into this. Yeah, and I just add, Kayla, like you're years into your coaching business. So, you know, you having a website, you understand the language that your clients need to be able to read, to feel seen in the, in the challenges they go through. So your website is still optimized much more effectively than anyone who's in the, the early years of their business is going to be able to do. A lot of coaches, like this goes back to their niche and offer, they actually don't even understand how to use the right language on social media, never mind even on their website. So they're actually putting up these massive walls on their website when clients do, if they do actually go to their website, they don't understand how to optimize the language to speak to their clients and the transformation they're wanting to go through. So, you know, I think in your early stages, not only do you, do you not need it, but you don't actually know how to use the right language at that stage 
and um, that's where social media comes in. You brought up a really good point earlier that I just want to, as we close out, uh, touch on again. One of the biggest traps that I see business owners, uh, particularly someone who's building a coaching business, fall into is they get and they fall in love and they invest all their time into the comfortable work, right? You know, if you look at the most revenue generating activities that you can do in your business, they're all the vulnerable ones. They're all the ones that you can face rejection in. They're the producing the content. It's the prospecting and asking people to sign up for your service. It's getting on sales calls. And, you know, and all of those are very vulnerable because you can get rejected. You can make a fool out of yourself. You can stumble on your words. You could have a panic attack, whatever, in the middle <laughs> of it. Um, those things are the tasks that people avoid. And then they put more of their time into something like their website and then they live with and under the illusion that they're actually making progress in their business and they're actually moving forward and growing when in actuality they're just avoiding the vulnerable work that actually deeply uh, scares them because they're afraid of that rejection judgment and criticism so it's like don't get fooled and put all this effort into your website and succumb to the illusion that you are making progress when you're really not and guys this is why it's so important to hire a coach because we, you know, we have people who join our program who've been building their coaching business for a few months and we literally have to unwind and we have to like go back and we have to, you know, take a major step back from all the work that they invested in all the money and the time and the energy that they wasted into the wrong things. And we then have to start from scratch when we could have, if we would have gotten them from the beginning, we could have saved them so much time, energy and money. So it is important to really get someone that you uh, know is credible and knows and has learned all the things the hard way and the right way to be able to lay out that blueprint for what you need to do to build your coaching business the most effective and efficient way possible. So if you are interested in having us do that, just go to the awbiz.com, the awbiz.com, and you can check out what we got going on there. You can It's our landing page. It's not a website. It's just a landing page we're going to take to you. <laughs> give you more information of what we can do for you and how we can transform your life and business. And then you might end up on a call with one of our team members and who knows, maybe you'll end up on a call with me and Robin and we'll be helping you um, get your business to where you want it to be. Robin, anything else to, to add there? Yeah, no, I think you summed it up really well. And I just say, this is where, you know, I, I'm so glad that we created the 90 day pathway that we take our clients on in the business academy because i i know so many coaches who have like coach hopped and done all this stuff and they always looking for this next strategy and i think sometimes people think like oh well i'm not doing well so i must need a new photo shoot i must need a new website i must need this but they're actually just they never did the real work which doesn't take that much time it takes three hours a day to actually get your first like three to five high ticket clients it it's not something that's like crazy out there, but our, our pathway just breaks it down very simply, very straightforward. Here's what you need to do. Here's how you do it. We haven't got any of these fluffy tasks that make people feel good about doing it like the website. And so you can just like actually sit down, do the required work and then build that momentum. And and it's so much more rewarding. And as, as you said, it's better if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, this sounds great. I'm gonna like, I'm going to see how far I can get on my own first. That's fine. But like the the difference that we see with clients who come in like from the get go, even like me, for example, I came in from the very beginning, didn't even have an offer at that stage. I didn't even know I was going <laughs> to what I was going to do. I had no idea the difference in how quickly I was able to build the business versus somebody who's been doing this for like six months or a year or two years. And then we have to go and undo and refine and like fix so many different things. It just has such a difference on your journey. So just wanted to add that there. Yeah, hundred percent well said. If uh, you want to go check out our landing page and what is more effective than a website, again, go to the awbiz.com. My friends, thank you for listening and we will see you on the next one.